Hi, welcome to this new video tutorial on Angular. Today I'm going to show you how you can add uh, your first uh, Angular Material UI components in your projects. If yeah, you are just landing on my projects on this on my channel here, in the previous video I show you how you could create a a new projects and then install angular material ui in your projects now i will continue this will be the follow-up of the previous tutorial and i believe that you already have uh, angular material ui installed in your projects if not watch my previous video so what we are going to do now is is to come here and then yeah you want to add this autocomplete when we come here to the website angular material ui website here you have the list of components and here you want to add uh, this autocomplete suppose you want to add this autocomplete here to our projects so here are the tutorials and what is interesting for us now are just uh, the examples these are the examples that are interesting for us now. So what we do now is yeah, when we click on example here, you have here like copy the link to examples here and then yeah, we first run it and see what how you look like. There is how our component will look like where we'll be able to select something here from the combo box. So we click here on view code and here is the source code that you like to implement starting with the HTML. What we do now is we copy this one, come to our projects. Here is the HTML file of our components. Uh, right now we are interested in just like get rid of everything in our page and then paste this one paste this one for now so that's what we get now yeah we have the errors no problems they will go away and then we go back again and then the next thing here will be uh, the css we also copy the css come here to the components at the CSS that we just copy, we paste that. And finally here, the most interesting things here will be from now here in the components. So <clears throat> we go back, right? And then in the TS components here, what we are going to do will be uh, to first take all these imports that we have here we copy them and when we come here we already see that we have uh, the components here so we have the components components here we can get rid of this first one we get rid of that one then next year we have here will be to scroll down and then we have uh, the imports we take the imports here and that one will go here we add the comma. Here you have our imported module. And you can see here import this one, imports here is only valid here for standalone components. So 
what we have to do, this not a standalone components. So what we are going to do is we take them out from here. We take this import here. Instead, we come here to our module.ts. Right. We come here to our module.ts, and here is where we are going to add those imports. We add them here. Then we have here to import all missing. We can see that here all missing uh, imports have been added. They have been added here, no error. We come back here and then we get rid of import that we add here. I will come back to this particular part here, standalone components and normal components and then we continue okay we come here we also need these uh, declarations here we take these declarations here come again they were available directly under here that and then we continue here we have to implement this on init because we are using that on init here so what we do is that we take this on init implement this on init in our components that one here then we are going to get the error here asking that okay we have to implement uh, the on init so when we click that here you can see that empty method comes here so that method here is what we have here then we have this on init here we can also take this filtering Of course, this one we don't need it. We can just take it away because, yeah, we have already copied that. And then, yeah, here is what we get. We have some missing stuff. that have been added okay we can see that these components here that we added before were not needed so we just save our projects it is rebuilding It is rebuilding. Bam! Congratulations, we just get it. Now, if we move on here, what we get here is that mud field is not. mat field here form is not part of the module so we have to include this module here so what we are going to do now is to come here right yeah okay that was okay just vanished 
yeah this is okay so we can come here and come again to yeah we had this mat for modules here so everything was there the error just vanished okay then here is our component that we just add here it's been still been loaded then um, we have this one that is coming it just takes some time right just takes some time so this is how we install these components here and if you come here to the console yeah it's not coming but that is not the issues here so yeah Congratulations, you just install uh, your first components. If you come here to the console here, yeah, it's in German now, so it's a bit different. So, yeah, you can see that currently here now we have no error available in the console, so our component is running. So, when we come back again here to the tutorial here, you will see that what we have here is a standalone component, which is true. And in the standalone component here, we don't need uh, in, yeah, normally we shouldn't need this. We don't need to import uh, the modules here. That's why the modules are imported. Uh, the modules are imported in the component itself here. So here we don't have it. So you have to make uh, to see that difference here when dealing with these projects. If you are new to Angular, that you will not import the modules here, as you have seen in the tutorial. These imports here are going to be added instead in the in the module for it to work, and then. Yeah, you will come back uh, to the components and import, make your imports here directly. So I hope that this uh, tutorial has been useful to you. It's a bit longer, but I try to make it step by step to highlight some key parts where you may find it difficult to get started when you are new to Angular and especially this angular material UI. So stay tuned for the next video tutorial and then bye.